This great national myth that it does not matter where you came from, it matters where you're going, that you can come from humble circumstances and you can do great things, is what unites Americans. America is an idea. It's not, as we discussed yesterday, a nation state. To be an American is to be from multiple, multiple ethnic and national backgrounds. It's to be from multiple religious backgrounds or no religion at all and to still be an American. That belief in upward mobility, as it's sometimes called, in a better life for the next generation, explains in large part why Americans embrace their unity and embrace their great national idea. Now, if in fact that great national belief is no longer true, particularly for the least of our kids, particularly for the child who needs the public schools to have that child read at third, le third grade level by the time they're third grade. If that's not available to those children, we risk the rending of the fabric of the society. Since it is really that thread that holds us together, if we break that thread, then our optimism and our confidence and our sense of who we are is going to disappear very, very quickly. We're fortunate that we don't have a great national myth that makes us hang on to the past. Like so many countries in the world, trying to hang on to something that happened hundreds of years ago to unite them. Our great national myth has always united us about the future. That the future is going to be better for the American people than the past was. The key to that is whether or not people can access the great transforming power of education. I think that W.E.B. Du Bois was very wise to focus on how black America might be led by a talented 10th to do much better under even very difficult circumstances. But it is not just a challenge for black Americans. It is a challenge for Americans.